I'm live. This is today's unboxing. Um, it's a little different from usual. I always buy some jewellery. I am a real magpie, as any of you know me will know. But I, uh, well, I thought I would see what happens because it's been a while since I've had a, a lot of jewellery come in. So I'm giving it a try. I will wait until until I can see some arrivals because my stuff I do on YouTube is always a little bit unplanned and usually when I think I've got something to share, which isn't very often. Oh, Lex is back. Hello. Yes, and I, I was kind of holding on for Lex and then I got distracted with a whole load of photography because the light isn't that bad and I was doing a load of photography upstairs. So rather than spend the afternoon doing repairs, which is what I should be doing, um, I'm going to be doing these. Oh, everyone's dropped in. Right, so that's, that's Lex and Kelly. Tap Doctor, hello. A rare life for you. Yes, it is. It's very unusual for us to see you in here. It's jewellery, just to warn you. Um, and I'm not an expert. I am an enthusiastic collector of and enjoyer of jewellery, but I, I, you know, I'm going to perhaps be guided by some of you out there so oh hi Karin hi Sue <laughs> um, I'm glad you took my place early because I really did need to crack on and do some work in the little chat that we were having so this is it it's it it has holds the promise of quality street if the, if the tin is anything to go by but it's not chocolate which is a bit gutting because I would quite like chocolate right now it's that kind of a day now, what I would do if I was the least bit professional is actually be able to show you this kind of over a flat laid out so you could see it all better. But I haven't got quite got there with my setup, so maybe I will try and do that in the future because I do appreciate you need to be able to see things a bit closer up. There's a lot of subtle tape on this. Actually, I think they've used a whole... And my hair's getting caught up, which is never a good thing. Excuse the noise. Here we go, we're getting into it. I really haven't been in here, so this is going to be as big a surprise for me as it is to you lot. Sticky, sticky, sticky stuff. Um, yeah, still can't get in. Ooh, hello, Pink Harpy. You're listening to Vintage Jewelry at the moment. Well, you know, any words of wisdom? Oh, God, I'm having a wrestling match here. Sorry, I'm probably going to be here right now. What is that you're eating? Salt and vinegar nuts. Mmm, I don't know about that. Are they good? I'm assuming they must be if you're munching your way through them. Um, <laughs> just a bit of time. <laughs> you're still about. Well, that's good. That's it's nice to have you. The more the merrier. An unboxing party. Oh, man, this is noisier than I planned. Lex's videos are fantastic. We, I very much enjoy Lex's videos. They're amusing and informative. Ugh. I'm just making noise, so I'm not being very informative. Actually, I did order myself some more tape. I suddenly realised I was on my last roll. And I ordered a lot, and I, I think I might have over-ordered because they were either very cheap. Yes, if that were chocolates, I'd be very happy. Um, they were very cheap, but I think I actually got about 72 rolls. Now, even I take a while to get to 72 rolls of tape. But we'll wait and see, because if they are 72 rolls, we'll have to pay for them. And I will sing the praises and promote them endlessly, because I'm sure all of you can do this when you're not sending the packaging. This really is. Stranger. Man, what I have to do is do this without getting my hair caught in it, which when your hair's as long as mine is not as easy as it sounds. All right, we're nearly there. We are nearly there. We set free the jewellery one. Oh god, it's probably quite all right if I do it like that. Right, hang on. Let me do this so it doesn't end up all over the floor. It's a nick. <laughs> I didn't think it was the wonderful Andrea. God, we are nearly there. We are nearly there. Yeah. Ooh. Well, I like a security package parcel. Nick knows all about that. He's a master of it. Right, I think we're there. You see, I 
I am a bit of a sucker for those. Um, you know, they get those jewelry jars in America, and I'm kind of so enticed by it, and they find lovely things, and oh, I think I was in that sort of mood. Well, there's some bubble wrap, always a boosty bonus. A new diet technique, take the chocolates up. It would take more than cake to keep me out of chocolates, I'm telling you. The anticipation's killing you. Oh, dear, Nick. I can give you a little preview. It could all be rubbish. It could all be... It's all looking very colourful. That's definitely a cheapy, cheapy, a cheapy bangle. But hey, you know, it's a metal one. I'm just diving into something that looks actually quite... You know the Mardi Gras type things that people have? Oh, are these all attached? Oh my god, is this all my necklace? It can't be. It's a very bad combination of colours if it is. <laughs> no, I wasn't going to, I'm not slugging anything off. I'm just having a little dig through. I don't think those are meant to be attached. I think this is going to be a very tangly bundle. So you might have to bear with me. So I'm, I'm prepared. I've even got the magnifying glass so that I can actually see what's going on. And things get really tangled. I quite like untangling jewellery, which I know makes me weird um, in many people's eyes, but there is something quite relaxing about it because in order to untangle, you have to kind of loosen everything up, not tighten it. Some things are going to be connected for a while and I may have to work on them later. I'm going to press this. I don't know where these came from. Look, it's got a beer barrel on it. <laughs> They're very plastic. Um, it has a B. I think that probably came from some holiday establishment that involves alcohol. I could be wrong. What's that say? Bacchus. Well, Bacchus is the god of wine, so I'm not, still not entirely sure. I do know my gods and goddesses. I may have to put that one inside and drag what comes with it out. Oh, God, there's more than one of those. Not entirely impressed. I'm not entirely sure this is the lot that I thought I was getting. But I'm sure I wouldn't have deliberately picked one with that in it. So hey ho, keep digging. Because, you know, it wasn't too expensive. Let me tell you how much I paid, including postage. It was I think it was just, it was about twelve pounds something. So we're not talking an expensive outlay here because I'm really not in that zone yet and I have made the error of buying something on the basis of photos being amazing and it just means you've got a good product rather than the contents being amazing oh my god this is all one great big knot <laughs> you're gonna kill me yes your mum does like to tangling let me pick something that appears to have a beginning and an end of its own okay so this is a very long flapper length I believe is the term long set of beads that actually will need repairing now i do quite like doing a bit of a repair as well but it's not always time productive but they, those will probably hook back onto each other at some point that's not a major repair so these are kind of flapper length beads they are plastic i do that because plastic's warm <laughs> yeah this, this could be a miss but it might be a hit who knows you'll follow the the journey they're not entirely unpretty they, they do look like they're vintage they don't look like they're brand new but who knows i wouldn't necessarily sell them as such but they're a nice color sort of ready color i'm thinking of car in here we all know how how much car in suits red <laughs> just saying <laughs> um right i'm gonna have to have places to put things so i'm gonna have a kind of anything section over here which is and then and then the sort of quill merch section over here Right, that's probably a good place to start. A little bangle with flowers on. I'm not anticipating this to be silver. It doesn't feel like it. But it does have some tarnishing. I always say never completely write something off until you've looked at it very closely. So there's a possible maybe pole, but it's fairly unlikely. Sorry, I'm not showing you all very well. I'm going to have to smack my wrist. You're here all week. I'm going to need you all week. <laughs> I know you do, yeah, yeah, and I, I would, yes, perhaps, perhaps I should indulge in some of, some of your bag sales there. Oh, this is very, um, yeah, chain's a bit rubbish, chain, well it isn't a chain, it's a, um, 
it's a leather strap. This has got a, a lion on it, a ceramic lion. So he could be a Leo lion, perhaps astrology. In fact, even the uh, ceramic has a chip on the back. So, But it's on the back, not the front. So he's, he's a bit crappy, actually, but he's all right. I don't, I'm not going to say at this stage. I shouldn't dig, should I? Ah, good, good stuff. Uh -huh. Right, okay. These are some plastic uh, beads, but they do have a they have a one of these clasps where you there's probably a name for these these sort of clasps, which is brief. They could possibly be vintage. But they're not bringing me deep joy and they're not making my heart sing. Hello, Caroline. Lovely to see you here. This is um, an adventure in unboxings and jewellery. Some of it's quite unremarkable and some of it could be interesting. And it's all quite tangled. <laughs> oh, oh, something's got caught up on something here. Oh, man. Okay. No, they're not knotted between. They're very um very amateur attempt at faux amber. Oh now hang on a minute. It has a barrel clasp. Well it looked like a barrel clasp, is it? Perhaps it's a non-functioning barrel clasp. Well that would be very odd. I thought that was a barrel clasp. But clearly it's not. So how would anyone get these over there? Oh, very pretty. Um, they are, they're not amber at all. They are plastic and not terribly remarkable. But hey-ho, you know. Oh, now, quite like the look of this. This has one of these lovely glass that goes through the arse and pearls. They've got the little spaces in the middle. Which leads me to believe, do they? Vintage tends not to have those. Oh, I don't know though. They don't look, they don't look terribly new. Um, faux pearls, I would say. I, yeah, I would say they're faux. They're too smooth, but they do have quite a sweet little. Oh, this is me again. Sweet little clasp that where it clips in, and there is something written on the back. M and S. <laughs> not the signature we necessarily be looking for, but they're not unpleasant. They're, they're quite sweet. And I don't see the um I don't see the finish coming off them. Does that work if I how does that work? I have to do that for you guys, don't I? Can you see anything there? There we are, M and S. Get a bit of a clearer view. Actually this this was a lovely find. Faux tortoiseshell um Found it quite a while ago. I was going to sell it because they fetch good money and then realised I actually need it myself. So they're okay. I wouldn't say that. They might be vintage in terms of perhaps being 80s, but they're not. Um, what are these ghastly beads with backers on them? I'm not sure if we those. Were they the same ones? No, they're another one. Oh, sorry, my eyes. Maybe it's the dust. Oh, I'm being very rude. I'm not saying hello to people. People are coming in. Oh, bless you. Nobody got work to do. <laughs> so, oh, goodness me, there's all sorts of people in. Right, I should say a proper hello to Southwest Sellers, to Ashley coming. Hello. <laughs> what treasures, yes, indeed. It's all looking a bit, not. it's all looking a bit sort of pissed pirate rather than uh, treasure pirate, but never mind. Hello, Maria. Hello, Lainey. Hope you're well. Hi, uh, Monocle. That's Craig. Hi, Southwest Sellers. Yeah, you're going to be living in the caravan. Wow, yes, space is going to be at a premium, isn't it? Very much so. Lovely to see you all in. These are very much more plastic beads. They've got spaces between them, but they're very knotted up with something else. It's, oh man, I have a piece of coat. <laughs> I'm going to have to learn to embrace the detangling. Or perhaps just learn that some things are not going to want to be separated for quite some time. They are really mangled. Okay, I will show you them anyway. They are slightly faceted plastic beads. 
They've got a vintage feel. They, these are maybe quite not flapper length, but they're certainly a decent length again. Um, very costume, I think it's fair to say. Put those there. So I don't want to keep picking up the same thing. Ah. I'm trying to find something I can pull out. <laughs> it's not attached to something else. Oh, okay. We have um, wooden beads. That's actually not entirely uncute. Um, they've got a barrel clasp on them. Don't think that necessarily means they're vintage. But um, and these, that's a that's a stone or ceramic in there. Well, they're quite cute. I mean, they're a bit you know beachy, aren't they? But that season is coming around, so they're not unforgivable, I suppose. <laughs> Carla, hello. <laughs> Oh, have I missed anyone again? It jumps, you see. All of a sudden it jumps and you realise you missed a whole selection of people. Hello, Stephanie. Oh, it's lovely to see everyone in. It is. It's sort of a very ready orange, actually. My lighting is, is not wonderful. Another barrel clasp here. They might be glass, actually, these. They feel like glass. Uh, nice with spaces in between them. Faceted. So I would imagine those could possibly be vintage. Obviously, I'm going to be doing more research. I'm not going to go sort of piling in until I'm sure. But they have a nice feel to them. They do have a quality feel and a bit of weight. Um, <laughs> you've done 24 listings today. Wow. Well, I've, I've actually drafted quite a lot of listings and then I've got the photographs. But until I put them together, I don't kind of count them as done. Well, I missed Valentine's, didn't I? <laughs> it's a glass. It's a glass thing. Would you really wear that around your neck? On a tie cord? I'd be more inclined to put that on a, as a decorative thing. It is glass. It's definitely glass, but um, yeah, not quite my, not quite my bag, I have to say. Thank you. I'm getting keywords from Lex. Oh, how marvelous! Thank you. Yes, Art Deco style French because the uh, French French jet is is. As Lexa said, there is actually glass. So if you see something named as French jet, it's not going to be jet jet. Because real jet isn't cold. It's surprisingly warm. Which is a very weird thing. Here we go, digging again. Oh, this has still got a price on it. Intriguing. Three pounds somebody wanted for this. I'm taking it. This might have been the next charity shop one. Quite possibly. This is, there's a name on this. I will show you them. They feel quite nice and heavy. They're a silvery, oh, pewter, silvery kind of tone. Um, they're not graduated. They are all the same size. But then they are knotted between, which is a nice thing to know. They are faux. But there is a tiny, tiny label that no one is going to, not with my fat fingers in the way. Um, tiny label. I'll tell you what it says. <laughs> You should be ironing your bed. Do you iron your wedding? Oh, no, life was. I used to. Joan Rivers. Now some of her stuff is um, it's quite decent. I mean the quality. It feels certainly feels quality. It's Joan Rivers. I liked Joan Rivers. I, mean, I wasn't so sure about liking her jewellery, but I definitely liked Joan Rivers. What an acerbic witch she had. Man, she would be a force to be reckoned with. You wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of her. I think it's fair to say. Oh, right. Very long beads. Super long, proper length beads. Joan Rivers is good. Thank you. <laughs> Lexus spoke and Joan Rivers is good. I have seen that some of them are, are very good. Oh, these would be in a massive knot. There's an awful lot of these. They, it is a very long set, a flapper length. They're not glass. They are, they are plastic, coated, pearlescent. But you know what a nice flapper length bead that's very um very peaky blinders very down nabby um whether one can say these things i don't know i know people do that doesn't necessarily mean i'm brave enough to try that don't want to get on the wrong side of the bay do we um bloody knots though i tell you it's i've got there's something that's on elastic that has really decided to, to meld itself into everything post office and look a small order off to Germany. I did send a chap, a, it was a tiny brooch 
um, and it was Arts and Craft Ruskin style, and I'm kind of quite good at spotting that because I've always been a big fan of that. And it was a tiny little thing, and he said, he kept coming back to me, and he was, I think he runs, is head of a department um, in America, obviously something to do with arts and crafts and things, and he wanted this brooch, but he didn't want to pay GSP. So I kind of looked into it and thought, well, I could send it for £10 because it was eight quid signed and delivered, and you know, a couple of quid in for me packing and mucking about and to go to a post office, which I don't enjoy. Um, and he was very happy with that. So God only knows what GSP were trying to charge him for this very small, very light brooch. This is going to be, oh, everything is attached. So there we go. Those copper beads will sell to somebody. And now I've got something in my eye. I was in milk. <laughs> I think milk was a shop. Very strange for you. Man, I am not doing well with these. these. They've somehow sealed themselves in. I'm going to have to sit down with this and talk to the telly later. What, I, what I've got here that's coming up is just literally tiny plastic beads on a stretch of string in lots of lovely colours. But a right pain in the neck. Probably not worthy to show you lot that, really. Now, these are faux pearl, but what happens with the plastic ones, of course, as we all know, is, that, is it all rubs off. So although it's got a decent uh, barrel clasp on it, which which may well do for someone's repairs, um, the, yeah, the necklace itself is pretty, pretty useless. So that's going to have to go in my over there pile. Oh, man, trust me, start doing a thing and then get an eyelash in my eye. Not what you want. Well, there's a wooden bangle. <laughs> Don't know. Just a wooden bangle. Nothing spectacular. But there it there it lies. Uh, I'm not holding out too much hope in for this wee box. Now this looks like it's made out of some sort of seeds, like pips of something. They're all in blues, very nice, more of a greeny blue than it's showing on the screen, actually. Um, yeah, Toast is a food, but it's also quite a good clothing brand, isn't it? Toast sandwich, crisp, crisp. I didn't know about crisp, that's a new one on me. So they're long length again, but they're more hippie style, I suppose. Boho and all that kind of thing. Just a very, very strange little, little shaped seed. But hey ho, must have taken someone a bit of effort to make those, I would have thought. Uh, right, I'll pop those there for now. Oh man, you'd see someone coming in this, wouldn't you? How do you get into it though? I mean, the colours themselves, I mean, apparently it's quite the thing, once again, to combine pink and green. Never been my favourite combination. They are plastic beads, not glass. And I'm assuming... Ah! Is that one of those magnetic ones? If it is, it's a damn strong magnet. I don't just want to pull it because I'll break it. But that's the thing, the um, clasp. I'm assuming that might be a magnetic one, but they're not inspiring me, I've got to say. You know, you do take your chances. Another little um, metal bangle. Where's the other one? Might as well keep them together. You can lock bangles up. Okay. Ah, oh, now this looked interesting to me. And this is a ceramic brooch. Very arts and crafty style, I suppose. Um, a bit more, yeah, it's, that's quite an accurate colour, actually. It's sort all of greeny, bluey, browny. Very 70s. <laughs> yowza. Yes, it was a little bit yowza, wasn't it? But this, is, this isn't a bad size. Um, it is a reasonably modern. Sorry, me and this camera. It's a reasonably modern style back, but, it, you know, it's probably going to be... 70s or something like that. Armful, yes. Well, of course, you can display a whole armful of them. I, mean, I can't quite get there. I quite like that. Somebody may want that. You're off to have a wander. Oh, have a, have a good journey wherever you're wandering to. Oh, these are modern. These are modern and they are plastic. So they obviously probably photograph a lot better than they actually feel because um, they have that sort of jadeite look about them, but no, they are definitely plastic, which is a shame, but there we go. 
don't know, vintage feel, I vintage style, I suppose. What will I do with the stuff I don't want? I have got a bit of a collection of stuff because it's taken me a long while to get my head around jewellery, um, so to speak. Uh, I will do bundles. I, I, I will keep, because I want to repair some jewellery, the nicer stuff, I'm keeping certain things for, for harvesting for myself. Um, I will do bundles for dress up or crafters. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I haven't quite made my mind up. <laughs> so I'm still working on it. I keep coming across this horrible, horrible thing. And, yeah. Right, let's find some more pearlies. Here we have some more pearlies. These are rather similar to the last ones with these nice little sort of sparkly spaces. Sorry, doing that again. Sparkly spaces in there. These aren't all worn to, to, um, to death. They are MS. They are more modern because they have this sort of a kind of a lobster claw clasp. They're quite sweet though. I um, don't think there's a lot of money in faux pearls, to be frank, but they're quite decent. And there's no, no problems or issues with them. Now, this I saw one, so I thought, ooh, statement. Mm -hmm. And it's got a nice barrel clasp on it. Is that the right way around or have I got it back to front? I don't think it matters. Nice barrel clasp on it. There we go. Let me actually show you. Being a right dingus today. Very distracted. Very scattered mind. I quite like the way they're layered across each other. They are, it is plastic. It's not anything amazing. But that could look really good. You know, it's very stylish. Um tiny little bit of a ding on the edge of one of these it looks like it's made of resin actually plastic resin um yeah a shorter length so it'd kind of be to that sort of length see i do suit red they could be they could be they, they do have a nice quality feel and when you sort of look at the end it's kind of got that it's been cut through so it's been made rather than just molded i think if i was ha hazarding a guess there's obviously a right way that they go in order to hang just so. Mm -hmm. But I really like those. I think that's quite a nice quality piece. Still got a bit of sticker on it though. I tend to be drawn to things that are red. Oh, here we go, another heart. <sighs> well, yes, what can I say? I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. That's what I used to be told. So we'll just put that over there. Maybe there's a collection of them. Now what? Oh, 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 I hope they're all not going to come off. I've just, you know how you suddenly, oh God, nuts. Okay. Now this is very cute. It's extremely delicate. And very cute. Now, let's see if I can actually show you. So excuse the old wrinkly hands. There we go. There's, um. that's quite sweet. In fact, you can't see this because I can hold them up to the light, but they, they have got a kind of a, Pearlescent, trying to be a little bit opaly, I think. Clearly not. Um, unfortunately, there's quite a bit of wear to the clasp, which is a shame because they look quite cute. So that's possibly a craft a lot. You will see. I'm trying to put things so they won't hang them. Definitely pearl time. Got some more. This, this, this is something for someone with quite a small, I was going to say quite a small neck, and that sounds quite insulting. It's got an unusual, an unusual clasp. And it's sort of a bit like a, oh, you know, when you hook a, hook a rope onto something, is it a cabinet? It's a bit like that. You need a bit of straightening out. They are graduated. Um. You've got knots between them, so they're reasonably quite good quality. I can see a bit of rubbing, and this is what happens. You get people wearing makeup around the neck. I'm oh, sorry, I'm talking to thin air there, aren't I? Sorry. Um, bezel set. Is that, that's what the, these are called? Is this bezel set? Well, yeah. That's interesting if that's what that is. I, the terminology, I like learning things. I love learning things. So I'm kind of getting a getting a feel getting a feel for it this has got something written somewhere i did see a tiny label they might think so small on jewelry probably not the thing for me to go into if i can't see what i'm doing 
I like to have quite good close-up vision. But no, I don't think that I don't think that says anything. Don't think it says anything of significance, but it's a shame because they've been say, a bit rubbed. I'll see if they clean up. Who knows? Who knows? Now, this was what I was trying to pick out, and all the beads kind of slid down the down the necklace. I'm never too sure about things that come on strings, if you know what I mean. Strings and wires. This is very, very hippie beach boho, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's even got the sort of hook, fish hook type of clasp. So I don't think that's going to be anything special anytime soon. A few nice little beads on there, perhaps. Maybe part of a bead lot. They're actually um, little ceramic beads. Maybe sort of Chinesey style. Quite sweet. So that may be a bead lot. I've just seen a very 80s earring. Ah, here we go. Very 80s style earring there. And a little faux pearl. I don't know if I've got the other one. I might not. But um, I don't think it's by anybody. I'd be very surprised if it was. It doesn't. Sometimes things have a really nice feel about them. You think they've got to be made by somebody. And this this didn't have that feel, and, and it hasn't got a signature. So if it has a mate, maybe someone will get to enjoy it. Oh, pearls again. Digging out the pearls. These look like they've got the same issue. Yeah, these had the same issue that the others had. A nice barrel clasp again. Some salvageable pearls. They are graduated. Choker length. Um, but unfortunately, mullered. Ooh. Well, it's made out of something that would turn my finger very green. It's a snake ring. And has he got little eyes or is he missing his eyes? He's got he's got little enameled painted in eyes. I do like snakes on things though. It was a bit power dressing that earring. Yes, the bluish ones. Okay, I'll put those to one side and commit that to memory. I'm not sure anyone's necessarily going to want a very cheap snake ring, but hey ho. Oof. Oh, okay. Ah, it does have a mate, but it hasn't got its pearl. Well, it might be in the bag, but no, so we have we have a pearlless ages power earring that's lost a bit of its power, clearly. A Voldemort ring. <laughs> yes, yes, Voldemort. Really lovely. Gritty on your teeth. Well, I will try them after I've cleaned them just slightly. Oh, here we go again. More more flapper length pearls. So I've actually got a couple of those. These are in quite nice condition. Two. Well, one's longer than the other. Oh, okay. Oh, God, they're all going to fall off the table now. Ah, what have we got here? Oh, okay. Not precious, but slightly intriguing. Is that the right way up? Oh, no, it might be the one way up there. That, that looks familiar, and I can't remember what that is. Something you. M-U, maybe. Little enamel brooch to go with a pearl earring. <laughs> Shove them in the door. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Interesting. I, badges, I really know nothing about my earring at all. Ah, we has a pair. Oh, these are quite cool. Well, that's cool. You know, cool 80s earrings. Here we go, a little set of 80 earrings there. They're quite cool. So I'm peering out the window because I'm facing the front now. Got that distraction going on of people walking by the street. I don't think there's any signature, any signature in here. But mixed metal, gold and silver, a bit of 80s bling. Somebody might want those. 
Mr. Uppity. <laughs> could be. Could be Mr. Uppity. Mother's Union. Actually, that's, yeah, that could be right. That's quite likely to be Mother's Union. I'm pretty sure. <coughs> oh, man, man, man. More bowls. Oh, hang on. These are a three, a three strand. These are plastic. They, they're so light. They're plastic and they're twisted around horribly. Oh, well, they meant to twist. That'd be very odd, wouldn't it? These are very cheapy, cheapy. They don't have the weight or anything about them at all. But if I do this, I can. The sort of choker length. It, I think they're meant to twist around like that. That seems to be the, the thing. Um, they might just need a little bit of a clean, actually. I don't think it's all worn off them. But they, yeah, they're a bit lacklustre, it has to be said. But they're not really doing anyone any favours. Uh, well, we're getting down the bag a bit. Still that stretchy thing, I'm just trying to eat everything else in here. They will come out. Oh, these are, de these are definitely um, sort of woodeny. Well, I don't know. They're like, they feel almost gritty there. Like they've been made out of a brick. I mean, clearly they haven't, but I'm not sure what the thinking behind them is. Very tribally, I suppose. Very um, primitive. Ah, may maybe a little face. Does that look like a little, little scully face? Maybe that way around. Hello. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, hello, Josh. Waiting on my bags, love. <laughs> I got distracted by a bit of jewellery. I've got a lot of packing to do. And um, yeah, yeah, that's um, strange. I'm trying to see what it's made out of because, you know, these they make necklaces out of some really weird shit these days. It kind of feels like stone, but it's rough. Why would you make stone out of, something, make out of something so tiny when it's not a precious one? Very, very strange. Sorry, I'm looking at the floor again, aren't I? Oh, bless you, Joss. <laughs> yes, I will keep an eye out for them. I'm actually out tomorrow, so they'll turn up on the husband's home. Yes, very strange. Odd feeling. Odd feeling ones there. <sighs> we have. Now, these are a nice gold colour, actually. These aren't worn. And they have that lovely... Oh, yes, Sue is. Sue's been in the bath. Are you out of the bath now, Sue? You informed me she'd be watching from the bath, which I wasn't. Yeah, it's kind of intriguing. It's a lot of information. There we go. These are probably going to be MS again. They look very similar to what I had before. There is a tiny tag with very, very tiny writing. Until a couple of years ago, I could read the tiniest writing. But because age is coming upon me. Man. Ah. Sometimes what I do is I take a photograph of it and then um, Monet. They Monet. Yes, they Monet. Or Monet or however one cares to pronounce it. They're a sort of a choker length one, but they're nice gold. They're really rather nice, those. Do like those. Obviously faux pearls. Anything real here. Ah, that's a very bizarre ring. X marks the spot. Anyone <laughs> in a hexagon? Just doing a look around the outside. This look feels like pewter or it's metal. It's not silver. What a funny shape, though. Look, very unusual. Monet is good. Yes, I do have a few Monet bits and pieces that I'm sort of dealing with. Oh, and the world wouldn't be right without a bit of hematite. There we go. And another heart. Is there a theme here? Those beads are slightly more greeny blue than they come out on the screen. It's got a barrel clasp. And they're quite sweet, these. I mean, you know, there are a lot of them about. I think that's the thing. <laughs> you love untangling them too. I know. I do find it therapeutic. I was just looking to see. What the stones are, but these are these are hematite or hematite like stones because I, I believe that there's manufactured stuff that's like hematite. 
I think. <laughs> Weirdo, says Lex. Mm, well, I think untangling is one of those slightly zen things that you either find relaxing or horribly irritating. Trying to untangle this live um, on the internet is, is kind of frustrating. Sitting untangling while I'm not doing much else, it's fine. This is silver tone. It's quite a long necklace. This is shell. Is it abalone? Might be, but it hasn't really got the bluey colour, so it, it's shell. And oh, it's got silver balls. Always like a bit of cilia. <laughs> oh, bye, Carla. <laughs> We're going out. Yeah. Bye bye, Molly Moo. Bye bye, Carla. So, yes, I'm not thinking this is anything particularly precious, but it's quite nice. Quite pleasant. I think shells and things will come a little bit back into their own when the weather improves and people start feeling a bit more holiday. Certainly a mixed bag. Oh no, that's intriguing. Are they prayer beads? Mandala yoga? I don't know. There's a bit of bonus bits and pieces in there. Um, don't know. I don't know about these. They're they're quite well made. And they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen balls on them. I don't. I don't know if they are silver. They're certainly grubby. They're very grubby. There's no markings. Um, I feel like I should know what they are. But, oh, hello, Rachel. <laughs> what have you missed? Me undoing a, a, a kind of eclectic box of jewellery, unboxing. They're, they're quite heavy, that's the thing. I'm really not sure. They've got to feel. Oh, Carmen, now, if you're going to put boots on Monty, you've got to film it. <laughs> oh, bye, Ian. Sorry, parcel shop. Yeah, I was out there this morning. So I'm I'm intrigued by these. They they want further investigation. It has a thing on the end, a little tassel. And I know there are religious uses for beads in terms of mindfulness and counting and meditations and stuff. So I may look at that. Indichick might know what that is actually if she watches back. Um, yeah, I'm familiar with yoga, but I'm not overly familiar with them. Um, Oh, what happened there? No, that's ah. Oh, these are buttons. I was thinking they're earrings. I was thinking that's a very big thing on the back. These look like they're buttons, which could be kind of cool. I have his buttons on something. I mean, there's only two of them, I think, as far as I can tell. Um, but for that bit of eighties bling, you can't go wrong with those. How very bizarre! Yeah, they are definitely buttons. They've got the sort of big hooks on the back. Well, I'm loving that. I was thinking they were earrings. Are they me? No, possibly not. I'm not quite sure what we'll do with those. They could be older, they could be older. Oh, a bit plasticky bangle. Okay. Slightly confused by this. It's just a pin. It looks like when they're sort of old fashioned trolley go kart things. It's like one of those things, the sort of thing that Nick used to wheel around the boot fairs. We probably will again this year. No idea what that is. I'm sure it's nothing. See, I saw the back of it and thought, oh, it's Disney. Because look, it looked like Mickey is. <laughs> I must be getting desperate. Ah, more bangles. Looped inside something. Let's just do this. Right, that's, that's another plastic bangle that can go with the other one. Not loving this lot, I've got to say, but hey, you know, I'm I'm in the learning process with this. Now, has this got all its stones? Yes, it has. This is a modern thing. With borealis type stones. It is definitely silver tone because there is wear to something very brassy underneath at the end, which is a shame. Um, it's quite nicely made. 
Now that's really weird. What's that on? There's something on the end. Whoops, looked like a splattered hedgehog to me, and I'm sure that's not what they intended. That's just my, the way my mind goes. It looks like a pine cone. It does. It looks very much like a pine cone. That's what I'm thinking, Sue. It might be something. I'm going to have to look it up. When it's a cheap, nasty one, you cut it, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going back through the chat. Miss, missing things, missing things. Coro. Oh, this is Coro. Wow. That's why I thought it was quite nicely made. And the fact that it's tarnished sort of around the back, is that is that going to matter terribly to someone who's wearing it? Yeah. I just quite like the stones. Some are kind of blue or, or borealis, and some are more. Every other one of these is sort of a, a darker, like a silvery one. It's quite spangly. Wow. Okay. I'm. Yeah. Sometimes I think something's not very good, and then I, I have to stand corrected because I, I don't know. I know what I like. I'm not liking an odd cufflink. It appears to have lost whatever what was stuck on it. Um, I'm not terribly annoyed with that. Neither am I being particularly grabbed by. It's a, it's a kind of cladder ring, you know, the handheld one. The, I know cladder rings, but this is this is very. Um, it's probably a toe ring or something. She says, walking ever so slightly, but it's it's very poorly made, so that's really nothing. But I can see a necklace that has dismantled itself <laughs> somewhere in here because I've just got a few loose beads. Something silvery in here. Keep going. Oh. oh, okay. It's a very, very tiny, tiny, delicate necklace. With three little stones. It's incredibly delicate. It is modern, because that's quite a modern design. I doubt it's silver, but it, it seems quite well made for something so small. No, I don't think it is. But I have now got a testing kit, so there are things that I I will test because I'm not going to dismiss anything until I've really looked at it. Because that would just be plain silly. Here. I have literally got four necklaces that do not want to let go of each other. The horrible one with the big bag on it. The second one of those. What am I going to try and do? M&S. I've got an M&S one here. Which is involves shells. Oh, man. Oh, got it. Gotcha. Off you come. Come on, you know you want to. I will not be defeated by necklace. <laughs> um, it says, come on, to give it a bit of a heave. Heave ho, and actually heave ho in the wrong part. Uh, oh, you know what? I am going to cut that. Well, I would do it if I had my scissors well. Anyway, what we would have had here was an MS beady necklace but clearly we've got two parts of a necklace now because I've been heavy handed <laughs> a lesson to you all that's the stretchy one yeah we'll just pop those over there now bizarrely they've bagged one up so I don't know if that means anything I sincerely doubt it probably means uh, that it's falling apart which yes it does these are it, it yeah it's bits of a necklace. I would say this is much more of a crafting lot than it looks. But there are some other stones in there. I think I've got one. Ah, that's what's been falling apart. It's a tiny little necklace that's disgorged its beads everywhere. So I don't think this is a precious anything. It's all on a piece of string anyway. And 
don't know what they are though. Have to look into that. It feels a bit plasticky. So if it's plasticky, it's not really worth the bother, is it? Um, right. So I think that's everything. So in terms of what appears to be decent stuff, or something that I'm going to research more, I will look into this bangle, which I believe isn't silver, but hey-ho, we'll test it anyway, because why not? The rather fetching, very 60s, seven, early 70s style ceramic brooch. The Coro necklace that has a little wear. The 50s or 60s, and a rather modish style vintage necklace. We've got a rather nice set of little beads there. They're the Monet. And a pretty decent set of MS. So, I mean, wouldn't you think I actually really only pay 12, 12 pounds for this, including the postage? It's not bad. You know, there's no mass hoosive treasures there. It's a nice little. This little one here, which I think what yeah, that was the MS one, I think. Oh lord. You start trying to maneuver things in your hands and then just can't see anything. Yeah, that was MS too. Um possibly a good find, the Joan Rivers, faux pearls, the one to research, possible prayer bracelet, meditation beads that could be made out of all sorts of things. A nice set of power earrings from the 80s. The French jet, nice old necklace there, and another, another MS, but decent faux pearls. So, some reasonable bits there that could sell separately. So, I'm going to go to a separate pile because I don't want to handle them up again. I may well, oh, there's another bead. I may well bundle up some of the flapper length necklaces. I would tend to bundle up bangles if I get a decent quantity of them. Um, and yes, that, that's, that's what I've got today. <laughs> Cutting worms in half. Oh, Joan, no, that's, that's called, called dissection, isn't it? We used to have to do all that sort of thing. So I loved biology and I was quite fascinated by how things worked, but I was, and I wasn't one of the squeamish ones, but there were an awful lot of kids who were incredibly squeamish. Right, I'll, I'll put this back in here. Because it's gonna, some things are gonna do a little bit more research as to whether they have a separate selling value or not, um, or testing. Other things like bangles, buttons, mother's unions, weird rings, just complete and utter rubbishy bits. Yeah. There we go. The rubbishy bits and what i will do is what i consider the rubbishy bits i will either put in crafters lots or actually just get rid of things because i don't think they should keep passing it around but that was it that was today's little um i feel like chocolates now i'm sitting looking at this box mind you that is quite a small box it's not the proper size that they used to be when they used to give you a kilo i think now they're down to where are they down to now 620 629 grams so you're basically getting two-thirds of what you used to get for the same money no doubt anyway thanks so, so much for joining me uh, thanks for your help um, and thank you particularly to Lex because obviously you know a few things <laughs> frogs in biology yeah yeah we had to do frogs and when I was at university because I did zoology we had uh, to cut up all sorts of things mm. I must admit I find it very interesting <laughs> So that's, I know that's a bit weird. I know that is odd and strange, but I am. <laughs> so thanks for all your help. I'm glad you enjoyed this. Anyway, it's a bit different from my usual um, clothing uh, themed things. But I thought, you know, something different for a change. And it's uh, going to be a bit of a journey, researching and learning lots more about these. So thank you for joining me. See you all later, no doubt. Um, Cellar ladies on Friday. I expect don't, no one's going to miss that, are they? It's going to be good. But I can't show you anything I've got here because it's meant to be things no one's seen. Damn it. All right, then. <laughs> oh, hello, Rachel. Yes, go back and watch. Sorry. Welcome and goodbye. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye, all. Bye. -bye, all. Bye.
How do I? Ah, now this is the thing you see, you've got to find this button and then it says, are you sure? Bye bye now.